Today I'm going to be shooting my 6mm dasher against some proper big boy magnum cartridges like 300 Norma magnums and the likes in a long range competition. Now this is the event where it's usually mega windy, super bad weather. Today it's a different kind of day. So I brought out my dasher to see if we can be competitive. The format's a little bit different. Let me take you guys down to the firing line and I'll explain the format. So we've got the firing line behind me. So essentially what happens is all the shooters in your sort of squad lineup, we all go prone, it's prone only, and you get to engage each target with three rounds. The scoring format basically works, there's a multiplier if you clean every stage. So after you've engaged your target three times, it's the next shooter's turn, so everybody will engage the first target, then you'll move on to the next target and the next target. So the challenge there is obviously the conditions are ever changing and it's not like a troop line where you're going boom, boom, boom and you know, working your way out in relatively the same conditions. So conditions are ever changing, which makes this fun. And uh, yeah, again, we have the six mil. So it should be interesting, but without a doubt, it's gonna be a hell of a fun day out. And man, when the weather looks like this, what the hell is not to love about that? Okay, my turn, stage one. 420 meters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Impact. left right yeah. Yeah. yeah, much better. Slightly low. Yes. Okay, thanks Skulk. 3 for 3 baby. That's how we start. Mm -hmm. Running okay. taped up arm, yeah. dealing with a bit of a sports injury, still from my broken wrist. Okay. Haunting me two years later. Um, so now, on to the next, on to the next stage. No target camp for you guys. It's too much to manage and there's so many guns on this line it would be unfair towards the other shooters to try and manage all of that. So this is what you get. Like and subscribe for some belief. Alrighty, so my next stage, 520 meters now. Hey yep. In pit, this old nice middle, very little conditions. Yes, it's a little low and right. Yes. In the on the right. Money. Let's go. I hope the sound is okay for you guys. Um, I don't know how it's going to work with the gun going off because I've never really worn one of these while actually shooting. Um, but so far, so good. Two stages in. Full. So that's really lucky. What's tricky about this setup here is there's a wall so we're lying in this wall so we can't actually feel the wind on our skins or beards or anything so you have to like manage the conditions and there's so much water as you guys would have seen with the drone footage that's evaporating now so the conditions are brutal um, and even the nicest optics in the world struggle with conditions like this to actually get a nice clear side picture but I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Let me show you something. A lot of people don't actually know what the 6 dasher looks like. This is a little 6 dash. I shoot the 109 grain long range hybrid targets at 2860 feet per second. So I'm shooting them pretty slowly too. But they're very consistent. It's a phenomenal cartridge. I never hit record on my previous stage. Sorry guys. Uh, it was 630 I think. Also clean that one. Damn it, I should be ready when it's my time to shoot. Because I had to set up the camera and everything. So I forgot to hit record. In the middle. In the middle. I forgot to hit record on the previous <laughs> Okay, I have now mounted my, <laughs> my microphone on the rifle. So we're gonna see how this works. Nice work. Wow, slow down. It was low that. How much? Um, it's popping links a lot. So come from three up, point three up, 
and another takeoff point two win. Right, like top left corner. 11 o'clock, top by. So take off another point two. We'll take off point two now. I think you rushed that. Mm, no, it's pretty solid. Things should be fine. Yeah, in the middle. Nice. Okay, so we dropped the first one. Unfortunately. You shot, Unfortunately. Hmm? You shot that very fast. Like it's rock solid. <laughs> you close the ball and I was still waiting for it. Okay, so we dropped the first shot, but then don't know what happened really. Um, next distance is 800 and something, I think. 895, and then it's 1,120. So we one round down. Happy days so far. Um, conditions ever changing, which makes this very difficult. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. It's lucky to have. All of our mates here at the back, everyone's spotting, and very cool day. And a flipping awesome day to shoot, compared to what it usually is when we come here. I've dialed 8 mil, targets at 895 meters. I've put in 0.6 mil from the left with a win. Uh, we've got one or two more shooters to engage this target, and then we're going to send it. What's super cool today, because of all the water that fell here in the last couple of weeks, so when you hit this target, wow, that was left, <laughs> damn it. Um, when you hit this target, there's like this massive explosion every time, it's very cool. My dasher probably won't do that, but when the big 30 cals hit it, <laughs> it certainly puts on a show. Alrighty, Skog, I'm gonna go 0 0.6 for wind. It out goes more towards 0 0.8. Okay. Alright, let's go. No, that's the wrong, just going. Point eight. Here we go. Okay. Low. Low. Wind was good. Did you, s did you see it bounce in the yeah, background there? It's come up point three, and your wind's perfect. Near. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I'm okay. okay. Okay, so my dope is off by five clicks, Skulk. My dope's quite off. Um, my dope is heavily off. Shut up, Black. Nice. Skulk, did you have for wind? Yeah, that's what I get. 1.3. Yeah. Okay. Well, I added what I think I should add. I added three clicks. Nice drop. Drop two. Yeah. Okay, what we are. Uh-uh, off. And Biggie Wach. So add for my pint in vent in 500, bottom half of the plate. You will be fine. You say Advent now, yeah? Yeah, Advent. Advent. Okay. You were right. Oh, right over the step. Just, just right of the light. Interesting. Okay. Well, we got a one. First round hit at a grand. Yeah. The second one, the wind was still okay, but mm. on the right hand side, but also high. Mm. And the third one is boer now. Just, just over here. Look, the wind is off. I get elevation off. It's weird, man. It's far. I don't think I'll make it through. I don't know. Because we have to qualify to go to the final. But I dropped three. How many did you drop three? Two. Two. My man. Okay, so somehow we made it to the final. We definitely shot in the hardest conditions of the day so far, the most windiest it's been. I ended up dropping four shots, um, two at the last target. So I've been kind of like chasing my dope, adding 0.2 clicks on the front one and sort of incrementally getting better. So something's up with my BC, but I can't tune my BC to the point where it is. So I'm just gonna continue doing what I did now and uh, hope for the best in the finals. But I'm stoked that we've made the finals with 
the six small dasher shooting against like Dwayne for example shooting her and he's on fire because he didn't miss one round in his qualification here with these 300 norma so um yeah skulk also made it through of the 6.5 prc so that's cool and uh yeah time for the finals smart my oak sure it's gonna be a well, sorry, Ella. Oops. You dialed the wrong way, bud. Yep, lots of wind. <laughs> so I just shot the first stage and left my wind in from the previous stage. So uh, that's immediately put us at a disadvantage because we missed the very first shot. Luckily realized the error of my ways and cleaned up after that, but we're already one down at 420. Next up 520, so I'm gonna go 3.3. 3. 3. 3. Probably go about 3 or 0.4 for wind. Just trying to see what the flags are doing. Nice. You just on the bottom, man. You just nicked it. Over. Six. Three spot. Was it low again? Yeah, you're just making the bottom left. You're like hitting seven o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Because when I came up, I shot over it. It's terrible having dope issues. I have to figure out what the hell's going on here. Center. 4.4, so I'm gonna do 4.6, 4 4.7. Oh, 4.7. Let's hope I can turn the tide. Eleven o'clock. <laughs> Point two, Chum. Yeah. Okay, good to have a nice stage in the bag. I'm really enjoying shooting the sky pot today. I usually don't shoot the sky pot on my sort of long range matches. I run a Phoenix bipod. But that is very much like a free recall setup. You can't load your bipod or anything like that. And I grew up shooting, like holding and sort of loading my bipod a little bit. So I'm really enjoying doing that today and just running our normal impact bag at the back here. Super slick little setup. The six dasher is hanging with the big boys. One round down. I made a mistake on the, on the first time. Two rounds down, but I missed once. The other one was a little mistake, which the scoreboard will still say is a mess, but it wasn't the cartridge's fault, that was my fault. So, uh, yeah, but it's a fun it's a fun outing. The guys are, are shooting bloody well. So I'm, I'm one of the fillers today. I uh, don't think we'll be able to, to take a W here, that's for sure. Not with the way we started this string, but uh, having a fat jaw, which is what shooting is all about for me. I'm going to go point by forward and let's see what we got. This elevation is just really kicking my ass today, so... Uh, shooting with target number four. Okay, gatos. Mother animal, the center. Yeah, but the big the fear is. It all to the last is boer geland. Interesting. Eerst in center and all to the other boer. See ya? I get point five for dial. But it's about a pin fear. Yeah. Okay, so clean the 
this stage, which is very nice. The first shot was center, like center, center plate, and then the other two were both high. But man, the first one landed perfect. I don't know if that's why I'm having elevation issues, where it's like, for whatever reason, the first round seems to be low. And then, up here after the Rainke, and you can in the corner on the bottom. Um, but man, I'll take it clean. If it goes ding, it counts. Okay, next up, 8.95. Um, dialed 8.2. Probably gonna do about a 0.6 wind. My 0.5 on the previous stage was hitting a little bit. Um, I was hitting upwind actually, so it was a little bit too much. Still on the plate. This next plate's definitely smaller. Um, now let's see what we can do. The splash is so cool when you hit these. It's freaking ridiculous. There's so much water out there. Very, very cool. Um, this morning actually, when I was zeroing my rifle at a different range, I shot through the paper at 100 meters, hit the ground, and the round bounced up, and I hit steel at like three something. It was hilarious. I've never ever experienced that before. It was quite funny. But you had to be there, otherwise it wouldn't be funny. So if you see me wiggling my face like that, I'm adjusting my parallax knob and moving my face just to try and find that perfect parallax. And oftentimes guys say it doesn't really match up with you know where we're shooting. Like we're shooting at 900 meters now, my parallax is at 500 yards. But that's where it's, my vision is clear and uh, nice work <laughs> and there's no movement. So we sit it there and uh, we put lead in the air. Okay, I'm gonna go initial one core point seven, I think. Niemand like it while you rock it in Matty. Ah, yeah, it's fast. What is it? Too much. Frick. Okay, I fixed it. Thank you. Yes. Okay, my point seven was too much. Missed off the left. Made the correction. But yeah, I should be hitting those first rounds. But it's very difficult to make an estimation over this this terrain. Okay, so I've just spoken to Skulk. <laughs> he missed one out of all the shots now, so theoretically speaking, I don't know what everybody else's scores looks like, but he should have the win wrapped up. Now uh, I gotta go at 1120 and see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna do this rapidly. Doof, 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 doof. <laughs> yep. Heet jij afgehaald of zelf een scoop? Nee, ik heb het afgehaald. Oké, okay, nice. Ook al is altijd eigenlijk een kruid in Nice. Dank je, Piet. Kijk. Go, Pieter. Pieter is onder geraakt. Oh, left, left, left. 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 Okay, two out of three at the back. <laughs> okay, so, missed ones, missed. I'll take it. I beat my first round score. Three down with the dasher. I think I missed three. I'll freaking take that any day of the week. I love this cartridge, guys. Alrighty, that is a wrap for the shoot. Um, Results aren't out yet, but I'm pretty sure Skulk would have won. Uh, very happy for him. I'm absolutely stoked with how the little Dasher ran today. It was super fun, such a low recoiling round, hyper accurate. And uh, it's a pity I had a bit of dope issues. I need to diagnose those. And uh, yeah, anyway, it was a fun day. I'm gonna head home. I've got my father-in-law staying with us for a, for a week or so. So yeah, I'm gonna head out. It's great seeing you guys again. Thanks for watching and as always, like, share, comment and please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.